Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Cooper back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about a huge change on eBay that is going to protect sports card buyers. This is a great change, in my opinion. We're gonna talk about it and let you know what I think about it in this video. So before you into that. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video today. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on today's video? As that is the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away hobby packs of series two. All you gotta do to enter is be publicly subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications, comment who your all-star representative is gonna be on your favorite team, and last but not least, go subscribe to the new channel, Grip and Rip Baseball. So I'm gonna pick the winner once we hit 7,000 on this channel and 1,000 on the new channel, and I will only pick a winner who is subscribed to the new channel. So that's how I'm going to decide who wins. So. You know, get that channel to 1,000. If it gets more, I don't know. But we will pick the winner once we hit 7,000 and 1,000 on the two. So hopefully you guys can do that. And I appreciate every single one of you for joining. And might as well get into the topic. And one last thing, two last things. First of all, happy Father's Day. Because I know a lot of fathers are watching my content. Now, I said happy Mother's Day when Mother's Day was around in May. But uh, I don't think anyone watching this is a mother. So... Uh, my channel is predominantly watched by men, so happy Father's Day. I know there's a ton of you out there who are fathers who watch my content, so happy Father's Day. Enjoy it with your with your kids and have a good one on that one. Um, and again, I have to say, if any of you guys know anything about where I could find McCutcheon Parallels from Series 2, let me know. Uh, I did update today. I did find the out of 76 parallel the stars and stripes parallel or it's really just a red border with stars on it it's, it's called an independence day parallel obviously it's it's 76 um but it's really just a red border with stars there's not even no blue on it so it's not even really like a red white and blue parallel it's just red and stars really which kind of sucks because you know we we live in america and that's obviously you'd like to see your country's colors represented but it, it, they really didn't do a good job on that one. I wish there would have been some incorporation like of blue. Maybe like on the bottom, like maybe like a blue border or something, but I don't know. Um, but still, not, needless to say, did find the out of 76 today. Um, I'm trying to get that one of one. There is The one of one was found um, in Canada of all places. And right now, currently, of the making of this video, there's still five days left to bid on this one of one. The one of one is upwards towards $300 right now. So... That pretty much takes me out of the one of one race. Um, it sucks I'm not going to be able to complete the whole rainbow, but you know what? You know, it is what it is. If I could say I have most of them, which I'm going to try to get most of them, I'm looking at the black border and the camo border. Um, they're on eBay right now as we speak. So I'm trying to win those ones. I don't know. It's going to be, there's still a couple days left on those. They're probably going to be upwards towards. 60 to 70 dollars as well for both of those so I, I truly don't know um but to say i have you know the orange the green the um gold the 2023 the rainbow gold foil the rainbow foil um the 76 the independence day parallel still looking for the red on um, the red i don't know i think there was one listing on ebay for the red and it i i didn't even see it um and i'm looking for the retail exclusive blue and purple uh, I don't think any of those have surfaced yet either on eBay. They're out of $9.99 and $8.99, I believe, for the purple and blue retail exclusives. So I, I don't know. I'm just going to have to wait and see what happens with that. But I'm going to try to get those three, at least the red, the blue, and the purple. And then maybe I could say, call it a day, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I definitely have a lot of the parallels. Um, the out of 10, the, the clear parallel, the acetate card sold for $250 as well, um, like last week. So I don't think I'm going to get that either. Um, so it's been pretty fun. The, the hunt for the rainbow, or at least majority of it, because I am definitely out of the one of one uh, hunt, because that's just not going to happen, unless the printing plate shows up. But right now, that silver border, no bueno. Um, so if any of you guys know where I could find one, and 
Some of you guys even helped me, like the advanced stats, a subscriber actually helped me get the advanced stats as well. I forgot to mention that one. The advanced stats also I do own, so there's that. So appreciate every one of you guys who's tried to help me, because there's a lot of you guys, and I appreciate that. A lot of you guys have hit me up on the DMs, showed me where I could find them. A couple of you guys even said you had them yourself, so that's always really cool to know people are always trying to help you, so I appreciate all of you in that regard so now let's get into the topic at hand in today's video and one more thing completely forgot to mention picked up three more hanger boxes today at my local target there was a bunch of them there surprisingly and picked up three of them there was a bunch of them at least 20 or 30 of them literally and i picked up three so now i have nine and i think i'm calling it quits with series two i think unless that 60 dollar monster box rolls around and the odds are good then i might buy one but i don't know I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's probably two weeks or so before we see those. So let's talk eBay, shall we? And like I said, we were just talking about eBay the whole time there. But um, eBay made a good change. eBay made a very, very, very collector-friendly, buyer-friendly change. And this may upset breakers, but I'll tell you right now. As a person who buys and pretty much only buys, I never sell. I really rarely ever sell unless I tell my brother to put on it on his eBay page and he have him sell it for me. But I, I'm not one to sell. I'm always one just to, to keep what I have and, you know, and call it a day. Um, but I'm a, little I'm a little late to this news. This news did break, I think, two or three days ago. But I think we were talking about something else at that point. Uh, I don't know what exactly we were talking about. Um, but finally, we have some new news. You know, it's been a while since we've had any bit of news regarding anything in the sports card industry um, because it, we're, we're, it seemingly looks like we're in this phase again this summer where, you know, no one is is buying anything or no one, nothing is coming out. Like, there's no sports card releases. and it, Everything's just at a standstill right now. I don't like it. It feels like as if we're in the off season, but it's 90 degrees outside, which is terrible. Um, that's what it kind of feels like. It, it really does. That's kind of the best way I could describe it. And finally, we have some news and let's get into it. So for anybody who buys into breaks or does breaks on eBay, this video is directed towards you. You guys know how I feel towards breakers and breaking. I uh, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later because of course I want to read the announcement first. So I have my computer in front of me and I want to read it word for word. So that way you guys understand what's happening. So Let's start, shall we? There's three paragraphs, not long. It says, The eBay trading card community is filled with dedicated enthusiasts and fans looking to buy and sell in the category. With the growing popularity of case, box, and pack breaks, we are taking steps to give sellers and buyers an opportunity to participate in these live events. Okay, here's the big paragraph. Effective July 18th, 2023. Case, box, and pack breaks may only be sold by pre-approved sellers. Any live auction underway can be completed, but after the 18th, you'll no longer be able to start new break listings. Sellers who have been pre-approved to sell live breaks will be contacted directly. We continuously work to support our trading card sellers, and my computer shut off one second, we'll reach out if future opportunities open for a selling box, case, and pack break. So, W eBay. I want to see W eBay comments in the chat because eBay actually did something right. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, this, if you're a breaker, could be bad. Okay, but here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say, and some of you guys may not like to hear this, but I enjoy this change because I'll tell you why. Prime example, this just happened to me last week. I bought into a player break, right, and it was an Andrew McCutcheon break. I don't want to throw this guy under the bus because I just don't want to do that. That's not what I like to do. Um, some people do this. It's not just him, so I don't need to single somebody out because a lot of people do this. But I got into a McCutcheon break, obviously, because I'm looking for parallels of McCutcheon, right? It was two cases of hobby, or one case of hobby. I forget exactly what it was. But it was about $12, and with $3 shipping, so it's like $15, okay? And I buy, I win the bid, it was a bid. 
And of course I win, I pay. And then I check the description. Now, the description, if you roll down towards the very bottom in real fine print, very small print, it says, veteran base cards do not ship. Okay. Now you may be saying, well, grip rip, that was your fault for not reading the description. And to that, I somewhat agree with you. But at the same time, he should probably put in parentheses before you buy it in the title of the listing, read description. Because a lot of people, you know, that's what they do. They put like in parentheses, read description. And obviously, if I would have seen that the veteran base cards, like an Andrew McCutcheon base card, would not ship, I, for one, would have not bought and won and bid it, uh, a bid, placed my bid in that break. Which is very unfortunate because I even messaged the guy. I was like, listen, I know I, I can get a refund, which I know I think you can get a refund. I don't know. Like I said, I don't sell, so I have no idea how it works. But I'm pretty sure if the seller wanted to give you um, a refund, he could do that. Because for one, he didn't even ship the cards yet. Two, the boxes weren't even opened. And three, the break was literally two days after I won the bid. So then me sitting here, because of course McCutcheon don't have autographs. McCutcheon has one insert in the, in the set. He has parallels and that's it, right? So the likelihood of me pulling anything good Right off the bat, very, very slim. It's not even like it's a jumbo. It was like a hobby break. So I didn't have a chance. I didn't even have a chance for the hobby exclusive gold, which I, I did buy. So that's not a problem. But the point still stands. The point still stands. Like, if I didn't win anything, and no, I didn't even care to watch the break. Because I knew going into that break, I wasn't getting a single damn thing in return. So essentially, I gave that guy $15 of my money. And I'm getting nothing in return. Not a singular thing in return. Now, I could have gotten something in that break. I don't know. But the likelihood of me doing that and winning anything was probably about 10 to 15%. The only thing I really could have gotten, probably my best chance at, was an insert, which I did participate in another break, and I got like four inserts of that card. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But um, it sucks, man. It sucks, man. And like that, sellers like that who, who do that, with this new rule, will not be able to participate and do breaks. Now, they can go on other websites and sell, like on Facebook, in groups, on Instagram if they have a following, or like in their eBay comment section, and they could PayPal them and things like that, or like Patreon. But the point still stands. eBay is trying to single out people like this who basically do those sort of things, and stop them and say, hey, you can't do this no more unless you change up your methods. Which to eBay doing this, I give them a job well done pat on the back. Because as I just said a couple minutes ago, as a buyer, and I did not read the description beforehand. Now you, you, may be, you may be able to say like, yeah, that's your fault. And to a point, I agree with you. But to not have it say read description and have it in small print in, in the description... Like, basically trying to hide it, in a sense, you know, I did not like that. I was not a fan of that. I'm never going to be doing a break with that guy ever again. And, yes, this guy does have a following on eBay or on YouTube, I should say. Um, he has more subscribers than me, I'll say that. Um, again, very shady stuff. I don't agree with it at all. If you're doing breaks, you should most certainly get something in return, especially if I'm paying you $15, three for shipping, which is ridiculous, because at the end of the day, I probably didn't get zip zap nada from that break so with this new change going in july 18th you have to be pre-approved now i don't know the steps to be pre-approved i assume you have to have good feedback i'd have to assume i would have to assume that you know you have i guess good quality streams i don't know of course like i said i don't buy or i don't sell so i have no idea what the factors are to be pre-approved but I would imagine with this new news, a lot of these people are going to stop selling their breaks through eBay, which as a buyer, I appreciate. Because if you're one of those people who do veteran base, don't ship, that's just not a good look. That's not a good look. Because if you don't get anything else in that break besides base cards of that said player, like I probably did, and like I said, I didn't care to watch the break because I knew going into it, I probably wasn't getting anything. Right? And the guy messaged me back saying, oh, we can't give you a refund. Thank you for purchasing. 
Like, what in the, like, absolute, like, I was genuinely pissed. I was honestly genuinely, genuinely upset and pissed off about that. I was thinking about making a video calling the guy, but I was like, nah, nah, I'm not going to do it. Um, but if you search hard enough on eBay and find, I'm, I'm sure you can find out who it is. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. Just go to Player Breaks, read the descriptions. Whoever says veteran base, don't ship, there you go. Easy solved. But um, with this new change, it looks like that won't be able to happen no more. Because now it looks like you're going to have to give the breaker or the purchaser something in return for buying. So job well done, eBay. So that's a good change. I appreciate it. I enjoy it as a buyer. I enjoy it. And as you guys are buyers, you should also enjoy this because this guarantees that you're going to be breaking with absolute real and trustworthy people. Because of course, obviously, if people like to scam people on eBay and induce like shady stuff, like a lot of people do, I'm sure if eBay gets reports of a certain breaker doing something shady, they will kick them out. They will not be able to do breaks on eBay or sell them through eBay at least, so I appreciate that. Very, very good news on eBay's end. I don't, like I said, I don't know how you get pre-approved. Um, apparently, this email was sent out, from how I understand, to people who sold breaks in the past. So every person who has sold a break through eBay in the past has got this email. And I assume, I think people were saying there was a link in the bottom of the email that you could go to that gave you the form. I guess you had to fill out something or something like that um, to, to get pre-approved. Um, but July 18th couldn't come any sooner because I, for one, am not buying into any breaks no more. I'll tell you that. I feel like I got robbed. That's exactly what I feel like. I feel like I got robbed of $15. And I don't care if I got one base card to make up for it or an insert or whatever, but... The fact that people get away with not sending anything back and essentially just taking your money, it's that's that's pretty upsetting. It really is. And, you know, I guess it was a learning experience for me because that's at the end of the day, that's exactly what it was. It was a learning experience for me um, because obviously I don't like to buy in the breaks. That was actually, I think, the first break I ever bought into. Um, yeah, it was. I, I typically don't do breaks. I'm always someone who likes to pull my base cards and pull my cards myself. Because you truly, at the end of the day, never know what goes on behind the scenes over at these companies and people who do these sort of things. So, you know, the moral of the story is here, and to wrap up this video before we get into the, the fat pack here of Series 2, I like this change, so should you. The only way you wouldn't like this change is if you're a breaker yourself and know you do some shady shit and, like won't be approved. That is literally the only way you can tell me you don't like this change. And to that, I'll tell you what. Bye-bye. Don't ever do breaks again. Don't be like those people who don't send out veteran base. You know, at the end of the day, that is kind of laziness. It really is. I know there's 330 people in the checklist, but here's the thing, right? I can guarantee you that there was a lot of unsold players in that break, so it really wouldn't affect you that much to literally send me all the base cards. It would have literally probably took you an extra 5-10 minutes tops to filter out all the McCutcheon cards and send them my way. I even paid for shipping. You know, I might actually low-key try to get a refund for that. Low-key. Low-key, because I know I'm not getting anything back. So, to any of you guys out there who had the same problem as I did, because I guarantee you there have been, could I get a refund for that? I'm, I mean, I'm probably pretty sure I, I could, right? Um, very disheartening, you know, I, I saw that, and I was like, there's no way, like, he's not sending veteran base, like, like, you know, I'm a McCutcheon guy, I, I love McCutcheon, I've PC'd him for a long, long time, ever since I was a little kid, you may be thinking to yourself, well, why are you PCing McCutcheon right now, all of a sudden, well, no, I have been collecting McCutcheon cards and memorabilia and autographs ever since I think I was 11 years old, ever since he was a rookie in 2009 or 2010, whenever he came up to play the Mets in, in the middle of June, I believe it was. June of 2010, I think, or 2009. I don't know. It was a long time ago. That's all I know. I'm, I'm quite old. I, I feel old, but I'm not old. I'm 21 years old, turning 22 in November. I feel old, but I'm not old. Um, but talking about it like that, like how I saw him play in 2009 or 2010, it makes you feel old for a minute. But um, yeah, moral of the story, I'm glad they're changing it. Uh, you should too. Hopefully that filters out people who like to scam people and do some shady stuff 
Very happy. Good job. Well done, eBay. I don't like eBay because eBay had did me dirty a couple times. Of course, there's a famous video out there of me doing it. I bought a Hayes autograph or whatever, and um, it gave me a base card. <laughs> the video is still on YouTube if you want to watch it. But um, yeah, luckily though, luckily though, I got a refund. Luckily, 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 they gave me a refund. Luckily, but um, yeah. So job well done, eBay. I don't usually make videos about eBay because there's really nothing else to talk about about eBay, but. I felt like today's news was pretty newsworthy, and I feel like a lot of people should have, should hear it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and now let's get into the pack of uh, Series 2. So this right here is the last fat pack of Series 2. Of course, you guys know we do have hanger boxes. Now, hangers apparently... Apparently, see, here's the thing, right, with retail for Series 2. Half of the community... I, I've been asking people this question, and I get a split answer right down the middle. So... People are telling me that fat packs are better, and other people are telling me that hanger boxes are better. So I, for one, truly have no idea what is better, but we got three of these. I might buy more of these. I don't know. It depends how this last one treats me. The last three we got weren't bad. Weren't bad. Um, they could have been better, though. Um, we pulled, I think, one numbered card, I think. Yeah, one out, out of four, or at least, well, three at least, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me try to fit my hand, man. My my tripod, man, it's too, my, my tripod. I need a tripod, though. Let's see. Is there anything in here that's newsworthy? Um, Maybe. There's something backwards, so we'll see. We'll see. Can only hope for something good. Well, it's something backwards, so it's a gold, silver, purple. Where's Jordan Walker? There's a, it's a gold, silver, purple, or blue, so uh, it's, one of those let me put this jordan walker to the side here to sleeve up after the video is over i have like three of his base cards already so let's see here spencer steer i noticed this collation i've uh, this this is the same collation i've had like five times there should be some other decent rookies in this collation if i remember i think francisco Alvarez is coming up pretty soon maybe not because the collation obviously ends with the inserts but um we'll see maybe not i have no idea tj friedel <coughs> Excuse me for a second. Kilbadu and our numbered card out of 50. Craig Kimbrell out of 50. Mother's Day Pink. Hmm. Wouldn't have that been interesting to pull a Father's Day on Father's Day, huh? Wouldn't have that been interesting. Oh, yeah. I've, I've tried to find the McCutcheon Father's Day and Mother's Day. No, <coughs> no luck yet. My throat's dry, man. Damn. Uh, no luck. But you know what? That's pretty cool, I guess. I don't... <coughs> I don't PC Craig Kimbrell, so um, no use to me, really. But <clears throat> damn, man, ERA. My throat just went dry all of a sudden. Altuve, Austin Riley. So this fat pack, mm, I mean, we got the father, the Mother's Day. I, listen, I, I don't know. Will that card be valuable? Maybe to Craig Kimbrell fans it will be, but, like, if it was a rookie, now we're talking. But, I mean, Craig Kimbrell just did get his 400th save not too long ago, so maybe that card has some value? I don't know. I'm probably going to put it in a sleeve and top load it anyways, but um, that is it, guys, and there's Craig Kimbrell again. So we, end, we, we get the uh, Craig Kimbrell parallel, and we end with Mr. Kimbrell himself. So... I mean, I guess, I mean, well, here's the thing, right? The Craig Kimbrell card definitely paid for the box. I mean, I mean, this, this fat pack was, was $7, right? It most certainly, um, most certainly paid for the pack itself. Definitely. It, this card is definitely more than $7. I just don't know how much more over $7 it is. So that's pretty cool. It would have been nice to pull a Father's Day blue. That would have been pretty cool, right? Father's Day blue on Father's Day. Um, but, you know, you can't win all the time, so it's still pretty cool, though. I mean, hey, there's someone out there who might want that. I don't know. I might put it on eBay. I don't know. So if you see a Craig Kimbrell card numbered out of 50, the exact number is, uh, what is it, 31. If you see a 31 out of 50 Kimbrell on there, just know it's me. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So, guys, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.